what is up guys my name is Zilla from Java today uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be creating a speedometer using math functions and conditionals so uh, the link will be in the description below I'll put that there or, or the code will be in the link in the description and uh, yeah you guys could go ahead and check that out so let's get started with this resource we're gonna go to our server folder and uh, CFX server data master resources and uh, let's create a new resource by just making a new folder calling it speedometer if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It helps us out. And uh, like the video if you you know find these tutorials helpful. It really helps us out. And yeah, so let's start off with creating our resource .lua. That's two underscores resource .lua. Make sure um, <clears throat> file name extensions are on too. By the way, uh, it really helps you out with uh, those creating files just like that. So let's create a new one and call it. Um, Lua. You can call it speedometer C. I think that's what I do in the code too, but um, I, I mean it's a client script. So yeah, let's get started with um, writing this so client script. Which sure script is um, speedometer, speedometer Lua. and then um, our speedometer Lua. Um, let's look we have to start off with writing out the code now so let's get right into it um, so let's create a function and call it text because we're just this function is just gonna draw text on the screen uh, so it'll just be really easy so if you, if you were from if you watched the episode where we draw text and saw that works uh, if you haven't watched it go ahead and check it out it'll probably help you and give you some context on what we're doing here so set text font uh, 0 through 4, uh, one, 0 is like normal, 1 is like cursive, 2 is narrow I think, 3, I don't, it, it kind of gets, I don't really remember, but let me use 1 because it's cursive and it looks so ugly, and um, let's type in set text pro proportional, proportional, and then 0, set text scale, uh, 1.9 comma 1.9 makes it like a little big not too big uh, set text entry uh, make that extreme um, add text component string then content because we're passing through that string uh, through this function so anything that this gets passed through will be written uh, out on this function make sure to go ahead and check that video out because you probably won't understand it. but you could also just follow along that's cool too and we're gonna need to draw the text at the coordinates of our screen so point 9 which is far side of our screen and then point 7 which is kind of down so point 9 and then down like somewhere around here it'll probably be um, so it's just like a little good uh, placement there. And we need to end the function. And uh, let's start, uh, let's create the thread for it. So it'll constantly refresh how fast we're going if we're in a car. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. So let's first create the thread, pass through function, make the thread end. And then um, let's create a while true do. If you don't know how to while true do loops, we went over it but uh whatever the condition in in between the while and the do are true it'll always run so if i were to just do one is greater than zero that'll constantly run but i'm just going to keep it to uh true because true is just true all right and uh in here we're going to need the uh, citizen dot wait uh we'll just do two mil two milliseconds so every two ticks i think that's what it means um it'll run and it's really important to have this or else your resource will just crash you instantly. So, um, yeah. Local speed excuse me, is equal to um, get nt speed. This is a this is a native that um, gets the speed of a, of anything. So in here, this accepts a parameter of what you're trying to get the speed of. So let's get the speed of um, uh, get uh, vehicle, uh, ped is 
in and then the pad that we're referring to is get player head minus one which is us and then false because we're th that's just what this function requires and then in here um, actually outside yeah, you can write or you have to multiply by either uh, if you're doing kilometers per hour it's going to be 3.6 that's a factor and um, if you're doing miles per hour here, I'll just write this in a comment right here uh, block comments are like that and um, you type it out like that so in here we can type in uh, kilometer per hour factor is equal to 3.6 and then uh, miles per hour is factor. The factor you want to multiply it with is 2.3 or 2.2369. It's that's just what it is in GTA for this uh, native. So um, I'm I'm from America, so I'm going to just use miles per hour instead of uh, kilometers per hour. So yeah. Now we need to check, uh, we need to write a condition, so I'm going to write a little comment here to check check if the head is in a vehicle. Just so it doesn't always show our speed, you know, if we're walking or running. You can do that if you want, just get rid of this condition, but yeah. So I'm going to do if is head in any vehicle, get player ped minus one comma false so if it's in any vehicle if our ped which is and then this is us false is in any vehicle then um i'm gonna write an end for this function because i or for this condition because i always forget to do that and in here we're going to use the function that we created up here text so it'll draw and then um math dot floor Speed. You'd also do math dot seal, which uh, goes it, here. I'll show you how that works. So I actually wrote it right here. Let's let's say uh, bl or let's write a point here. So 1.2 uh, floor functions usually go back one, so it goes to its base, and uh, it goes. So let's say we had uh, minus or point minus point two. It'll always go to the the last number before it, even if it's a negative number so let's say that's point two it'd go to minus one or minus point two it'll go to minus one um, if it was one point two it'll just go to one that's what four is and uh, even if it's uh, let's say like point seven it'll still go back I should probably wrote that in this color it'll always go back and then um, let's say if it was um, one or uh, was that minus point five It'll always, for ceiling, it'll always go up one. So if this was uh, 1.5, it'll go to two, always. So it just depends on what you want. It's probably a bad diagram, sorry, but that's ceiling usually goes up and floor usually goes down. Left on the number line and then ceiling goes right on the number line. So it's just a good way uh, to visualize it. So I like to just do floor. You could do ceiling if you want. Uh, it doesn't really matter. It's gonna be a little inaccurate. I think there's a round to there, which is probably even more accurate, but I wanted to show you how this works. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to add this to my resources.cfg that we've configured in our, uh, one of our episodes, start speedometer. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the uh, server here in a second. Alrighty, so I just joined my server and... Um, yeah, so I'm gonna spawn in a car from that random table that we did. Oh, did not mean. I don't know why I said slash die. Um, I'm just gonna spawn a random car here. Um, slash car from that episode that we did about spawning it from random tables. So uh, yeah, let's. This is a pretty bad place to drive it, but uh. Yep, as you can see, okay, that is really loud for me. Probably not for you. Uh, as you can see, the um. It works you get the little number on the right um, you can also set the text color um, if you check out the text and rectangle video that we draw text and draw rectangles on the screen uh, let's see you could also do a bunch of more stuff with uh, this like if I were to do like two and then restart it or not I didn't mean to say hi 
uh, restart um, you can see that you get like a little more modern kind of uh, thing you could also just add like um, what is it after content you could be like uh, MPH so if I were to restart it as you can see yeah that's a little off-centered if I were to move that to like point eight five and then um, add a space there I actually probably make it point eight yeah you can see that no, point eight is not good but as you can see that that does work how you want it to work hopefully and um, yeah I mean hopefully this is a really interesting video and um, it helped you out if it did make sure to subscribe like our video join our discord uh, all those links will be in the description the code will be in the description and uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video and uh, have a good one